comfort zone and supersizing and growing your business. Sharon horn from here. Our confidence related idiom today is comfort zone. Comfort zone is a mid to late 20th century American English idiom. It originally uh, was started in America by a gentleman by the name of Alice Dare White. And he hypothesized that in order to achieve high performance, that a person had to have a certain amount of stress in their life. So originally comfort zone referred to the temperature, literally the physical temperature around us. And if the temperature was um, not one that didn't make you shiver or didn't make you sweat, then the temperature was within the comfort zone of performing different tasks. So it came from literally the physical temperature around us. But he hypothesized that if we want to be high performers, we needed to have a certain amount of stress. And of course, that leads to the whole topic of stress, de-stress, stress, and eustress. Eustress is positive stress. It means that we're feeling excitement and engaged in something and moving towards something that we want. De-stress, of course, is the bad kind of stress, which can cause all kinds of health challenges and things like sudden cardiac arrests when we have too much stress and we're not only out of our comfort zone, but we're in the panic zone. There's three areas of the comfort zone. The, the comfort where we're just comfortable and, and everything is, I like to say, hunky-dory and going along and clicking along fine. We're staying the same though. We're not really expanding or growing in any ways. Then there's the stretch area of the comfort zone where we're right on the edge and we're pushing on the edge of our comfort zone. We're trying new things. We're uh, doing things that we haven't done before, but we figure we can do them because we've done something similar before. And then there's the stress or panic zone where we are on board doing things we've never done before and that we're not 100% sure we can do. We're not sure how to do them, but we know if we have confidence that we can figure it out. Uh, so basically we want to take ourselves from the comfort zone to the courage zone. And that's where we step out of our comfort zone and we expand and grow and create the things that we want in our life. So I've noticed the comfort zone in my life. For the longest time when I was younger, I, my long-term goal before I started really setting goals and objectives for myself and, and organizing my life along a life framework that made sense for me, I would I catch myself saying all the time, I just want to be comfortable. When it came to how much money I wanted to make, I just wanted to be comfortable. When it came to my jobs and the careers and the positions I took in corporate America, I just wanted to be comfortable. Now, I was always still pushing my comfort zone and, and on the edge of it, but I still was pretty much comfortable. I knew what I took on, I could do and I was capable of doing. And only once in a while would I take such a stretch role that it made me nervous. I remember one of my last jobs in corporate America, I uh, inherited, three months into that job, I inherited a whole different division of the organization for, a, it was a big company. And I was nervous about it because I had no knowledge and no practical experience in that particular function of business. And I had to learn really quickly. Uh, and I did, of course, it ended up being my favorite job ever in corporate America, but I had to figure it out. I, I I didn't really have a choice was you can take this on or not but if I hadn't my career probably would have ended very quickly with that organization so now I ask myself am I am I too comfortable and a lot of times when I'm doing things I I can think of examples right now in my life where I am actually too comfortable and when I start to feel that way instead of staying too long in a job or a role or in a business which I've done that in the past too and I know when I've stayed too long because I start to get really bored and antsy in that position or in that business or in that company and that is a signal to me that it's time to look for my next opportunity and so now I've kind of got this rolling opportunity thing for myself where I'm always looking not always looking for the next thing in uh, and shorting what I'm doing but I'm always open to new opportunities so I asked myself, am I too comfortable? Instead of my goal being, I just want to be comfortable, it's, am I too comfortable? And if it is, I immediately set a challenge for myself. That's part of why I do the annual challenge is because I was too comfortable and I needed to stretch in ways that I'd never stretched before. And so I started doing online videos and stretching my comfort zone. That is our topic for today. I would love to know your thoughts and experience with your comfort zone. Uh, I think it's a great term that applies how the vast majority of us live the 
most of our lives, right? And if you're in a group like this where you're expanding and growing and supersizing your business, you probably know how important it is to be pushing the envelope and moving out of our com your comfort zone. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another confidence-related idiom for the month of August. Have a great day.